Okay, so this video is shot a couple days after both the fishing trip and the flood. But what I'm going to do is toss together those two videos into one. I don't have a ton of fishing footage, and I don't have a ton of footage from the flood, but as you can see, I have boxes everywhere. You're seeing the aftermath of the flood. Um, I'm not saying this so you guys pity me. I really didn't lose a lot. Uh, the fact of the matter is there's a lot of stuff that got wet, a lot of sentimental stuff, but I'm a lot luckier than a lot of people uh, right now in the city of Midland. So what we're doing is going through and getting all this stuff that's salvageable, cleaned up, and uh, saved. But I'm going to share with you guys the footage right now. Uh, check it out, let me know what you think, and then we'll do an outro here in a little bit for you. Well, we are going fishing today for the first time in a couple weeks again. I mean, it, it seems like every time I go fishing, I have to wait, you know, another week and a half before I can go again. But we're headed out to the lake right now just for a few hours. Today is the first day of summer, June 21st, and it's the longest day of the year. So I'm hoping that that sun's going to stay out a little bit longer for us, give me a little bit more time on the water because I think these fish are going to bite. We're going to be fishing for post-spawn fish, so it's going to be a lot of slow-moving baits. We're going to start after having to pull out the drop shot for these smallmouth but hopefully we're gonna get on some of those better than average fish. I wanna share with you guys a little piece of apparel that I got. This is the smallmouth, the pig smallmouth apparel from Nate Carnes. I'm gonna leave his link in the description below. He has an Instagram where he basically makes all this sick fishing art. It's not just, it's not just bass related. It's not just smallmouth or largemouth. He has musky, he has carp, he has any sort of fish you can imagine. A bunch of cool graphics designs, apparel, stickers, decals, hats, I'll show you guys a hat later. I, I didn't want to wear it today just because the floral has been too good to, to me. But check out the back of this shirt too. It's got a pig smallmouth on the back, which is pretty sweet. We're going to head out to the lake. I'm going to catch you guys here in a minute once we get to the ramp, once we get on the water, and go out there and catch a couple big, big fish before the night's over. I made a very novice mistake. Um, I've been out here for about a half hour now, and rather than graphing over the area where I figured the fish would be, I just sat down on it and started fishing, and unfortunately the fish aren't where I thought they'd be. You can't make fish do what they're not gonna be doing this time of year. So now what I have to do is run around to a couple different spots and check to see if the fish are there, because they're not out here uh, in these areas where I thought they'd be post-spawn yet. Um, if they're not post-spawn at all, I'm gonna be out of luck because the only area where I know they'd spawn, or the main area where I know they'd spawn is about 10 miles away. It's a long boat ride and I don't wanna have to make that boat ride. In fact, I'm not gonna make that boat ride tonight. It's eight o'clock p.m. I got out here at 7.20. So hopefully this sun, longest day of the year, will stay up long enough for us to put a couple good fish in the boat. We'll just have to wait and see. I know it sounds silly, but I spend a lot of time right here in this driver's seat searching for stuff. I burn a lot of gas in this boat. I'm telling you what, I need a gas station to sponsor me. Speedway, hit me up. Let's go, we'll work together. I'll promote the heck out of you guys every single trip that I come fishing because I'm always at your gas station putting gas in the boat. So gas stations out there, you wanna Get on board with BR Noah Fishing, Benjamin Noah Fishing, come on, hit me up, because we burn a lot of gas in this boat. Wow, 
What you doing out there? I just trying to look through the window. Hey, it's my knees. <laughs> Where are you Let me give you guys a little bit of, hey, hey, come here. Let me give you guys a little bit of insight. We got a lot of rain last night, over six inches. Um, and so we got a lot of flooding in the backyard. We're going to check out how bad the garage is right now. How high do I want my pants to go? Pretty high? Oh, it's kind of chilly. Don't worry, I still have pants on. Did you see the carrot? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I just stepped on something. Why don't you have shoes on? I do. Oh. Well, some of my totes are floating. The boats? It's just up to the trailer. Just. Oh. My. God. What? I mean, I don't like being in here when your boat's plugged in. Let's unplug that from the wall. <laughs> how's the... How's the mower? Some of it's and some of it's not. Oh, fuck. I lost my shoe! Well, I was able to uh, get a couple boxes out, but the boat is it's pretty far underwater. We're up to my knees. Hey. Come again? That's true. Well, that's all I'm going to show you guys. Whew, a lot of water. So as you can see, the flood was pretty insane. We had about three and a half foot of water here in the garage. I actually fished in the backyard for a little bit. I mean, it was just a couple casts. Um, a ton of water. We got over nine inches in two days. So that's just a ton of water to pile up in one city. Um, and essentially it stacked up in my backyard and in the garage. Thank God that we're all safe. Thank goodness that none of this stuff really, really was ruined. Um, and I got lucky none of the water actually got into the house itself. Now this flood was the worst that Midland has ever seen. There's never been a flood higher than this. 1986, we had one that was very close. We surpassed it on Saturday. So just crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, lots of crazy things happened here over the past couple of days. 
and I'm just very blessed and lucky that um, I came out of it relatively unscathed. And then I caught that one smallmouth bass, as you guys saw. Now, here's what's interesting about that night. I thought those fish were going to be closer to the post-spawn, moving out to the summer stuff. That wasn't the case. I talked to a couple guys. The water's only 63 degrees. Some of those fish are still spawning. Uh, what you're seeing is that tail end of that spawn. You're seeing the very early post-spawners. And the way I caught that fish was in about three and a half foot of water, right where it drops off into five or six. So that very first break off the spawning flat. Um, is where I ended up catching that fish on that crankbait. I know I was throwing that DT14 or the Dive Master 14 from Livingston, um, and that bait was really grinding bottom. But the fact of the matter was, I was kind of just going through the motions at that at that point. I got lucky and ended up catching that fish. Again, I want to share with you guys. Oh, I didn't even realize I had this. Again, I want to share with you guys um, the different pieces of apparel from Nate Kearns. This is a hat that I mentioned earlier. Alex Rudd had a hat. Very similar to this, it was the tiger camo hat. He also has a brown hat. This is a smallmouth bass patch right here. It's got the smallmouth on the side. Uh, just a really, really cool design. Nate Kearns branded on the inside. This is a Nate Kearns shirt, Nate Kearns shirt, um, with the pig smallmouth on the back. He's got a bunch of decals, a bunch of logos, largemouth stuff, musky stuff, carp stuff, everything you guys imagine. Uh, this is not a paid advertisement. I spent or I paid full price for the hat, full price for the shirt, and all the decals I got, everything was full price. So this is not an advertisement. I just think what he's doing is super, super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Guys, I promise I'm going to answer every single comment that comes in. If you have a question or comment or something you want to know, I'm not going to brush over it. I'm going to give you my full, honest answer, and I'm going to go as far in depth as I possibly can. So always feel free to hit me up whether it's in the comments, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, I try to respond to every single comment or question or message that I get. So just hit me up and I'll try to respond to you as quick as I can. So thanks for watching guys. Um, you're the best really are. I, I appreciate all the support you guys give me. You guys are the best fans on YouTube. So take care, tight lines. God bless. Remember, pursue your passion. Staring at those city lights Had some ugly days to get some pretty nights Cut some people off, dreams take a sacrifice Yeah, they wanna make it but can never pay the price Get caught up staring at those city lights Had some ugly days to get some pretty nights